in the process of creating the down behavior. We don't say anything when we create behaviors because there's no reason to call a behavior any name if it doesn't even exist. So a few warm-up clicks for not being all over his lap trying to get the food. Now starting to lure down, staying with the hand and click and feet in the down position. <coughs> Objective here is to get the lure hand off of the nose of the dog. So if you watch carefully, you'll see that for now a couple of times the hand stayed with the click with the down and now the hand is gone. So what happens here is the hand is pulled away at the same time when it is highly anticipated that the dog goes after the hand and leaves the position. It is automatically a click at the removal of the hand. It would be way too fast and too way over the top of an expectation for a trainer to take his hand away, watch if the dog is still down, and then click. So what we do is we click. As soon as we take the hand away, the dog cannot get up as quick as we take the hand away. So we will catch him without the hand in front of his nose and still laying down. Here, clear identification that this behavior is not going to go anywhere. Here, he was clicked for breaking up the behavior that we don't want to get him back in the right direction. And here, Miraculously, the hand is gone off the nose and the dog stays in the down position. So, to point out, he's not reinforced for laying down right now in this training session. He is reinforced for actually being in the down position. There's a difference between taking the position or staying in the position. It's two different behaviors. So we try to get the hand into a meaningless context. The hand is not there, he's still laying down, the hand can even move a little bit. Here we wait if he would decide if the dog would decide to take the down position on his own, but we have trained another criteria right now, so that's more likely not to happen. You see, as, as soon as you try to train two different behaviors at the same session, at the same time, it uh, is a guessing game or a puzzle that most likely is not going to be solved by the dog. 
So to make that clear, we were on the behavior to be trained to be in the down position without the hand being at the nose. So now the trainer shifted to trying to train the behavior of actually taking the down position. And the dog is a little clueless at this time. It was a pretty long duration of downing without the hand being there. Back to what we wanted and we call it quits.